Hey, welcome to a brand new Gator Snapper playthrough where it's nearly fucking Gator Snapper's nap time, so he's gonna be very fucking tired throughout all this. Welcome to If My Heart Had Wings, or as the Japanese title was, Kono Uzora ni Subasa wo Hirogete! Or is it Hirogete? Gidi? I don't fucking know. Something along those lines. Anyways, brand new Gator Snapper playthrough. This is not like most games I normally play. This is one of the infamous Gal games, sort of like Honey Pop, but with way less, way, way, way less action. That being said, this game apparently has some nudity in it, so I'll probably censor that. If it has sex in it, you can be goddamn sure I'm gonna give them inappropriate voices, and I don't mean inappropriate in like a sexual way, I mean like, it's not gonna fit the scene at all. Oh, and another thing. This game had its own original voices, but then like the asshole I was, I turned everyone's voice volume down to one. Because I want to be all the voices. I want to voice all the fucking characters. So yeah, expect this to be absolutely frustrating and obnoxious. So let's get into this. Start. I started up the game a little bit earlier, and actually I was kind of surprised with like, how fucking pretty it is. I mean, you'll see it yourself, but, oh god, yeah, I love it. The art is so fucking, like, it's so good, and it's, like, slightly 3D, too. Uh, so, narrating voice. You know what? I'll use my voice as a narr narrating voice. The bicycle road race is known as a really harsh sport. What, really? The fuck kind of bike racing are you doing? Okay. The hill climb in the middle is hell, too. Okay, no, none of this fucking waiting for the text to show up bullshit. While putting strain on every muscle in your body, you have to continue pedaling without any brakes to climb a steep hill. That is true. On my way to my old job at home, I had to fucking bike up a hill and it sucked. At that time, I always think... Where does it end? That's what I- oh yeah, I can't do this anymore. That's exactly what I say. Except I'm not racing. I'll make this race my last. Even though I think that every time, in the end, I still take part in the next race. Fucking two-faced bitch. I've endured severe training so I don't put my feet down halfway through the hill climb. Why do I do that? Because once I finish the hill climb, I'm waiting for my reward. It fucking, yeah, you get a reward. You wanna know what I get? A fucking hard day of work. That's what I get. You piece of shit comparing your bike race to mine, even though I'm comparing yours to mine, whatever. Nothing compares to the feeling of cutting through the wind as I race downhill. Oh, race down the downhill section at a blistering speed. You know what? I can't, I fucking can't agree with that sense because it says down twice in it. Oh, this is another thing that's going to be frustrating about me playing one of these uh, visual novel games. I will stop, like, the dialogue n no time flat just to complain about something. At that moment, I feel an incredible rush. Then, I realized that I had forgotten about everything. The pain of the hill climb, the strain on every muscle in my body, and the days of hard practice. It's not a matter of whether I win or lose a race. Fucking loser, I just enjoy it, and that's why I continue to ride. That's how it should have been. Before I lost my legs in a terrible bike race accident. Fucking rolled down the hill, landed right in a meat grinder. <laughs> Oh, that's gotta be terrible. Kid, I'm so sorry for that thing that never happened to you. Oh yeah, this is it. This is one of the things I saw where it's actually- Well, okay, no, not just the fucking silhouettes. I still don't have much life experience at that time. It was something beyond my imagination. Suddenly, without warning, something was taken from me. Oh god, did he land on his balls! Oh yeah, have you ever ridden a bike and you're just like fucking cruising along, going downhill, and you hit a pothole and you just bounce your balls right into the fucking seat? Oh god, it's the worst. I could also say, shut away, or lost. However, to directly express the emotion I felt at that time, taken is the word that fits best. I fucking lost that race. I was really pissed off about it. Uh, against what I said prior. So there is one thing that I learned. Life isn't all about having fun. Hold on, let me just say that line one more time. So there is one thing that I learned. Life isn't all about having fun. Can't fucking put an exclamation mark and not expect to be read stupid. I gained a lesson in life. The thing I lost was everything. Dude, what the fuck? Did you die? What the hell happened to you, kid? No, I'm curious. Jesus. Something terrible happened. I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have thought about it a little more. If something could be taken from me so abruptly, then something could be given to me just as suddenly. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Where the fuck is the scene I was so fucking impressed with? The wind blew. A gentle but strong wind. It would not be unreasonable to call it an encounter. The wind, or... Ah, whatever. What this could be the start of. Even now, there's still no way for me to know. Come on, show me that pretty windmill seat. This! This surprised me. No visual novel that I've played has, like, something like this. It's so fucking, like... 
oh, it reminds me of playing like a really good Nintendo DS game. It's like, oh, I'm in an environment, even though literally all we're fucking looking at here is a windmill pointing up at a beautiful empty sky. The windmill is turning. People are overwhelmed just because of the size of such enormous things. This unnatural silhouette serves a function. But to those who don't know what that is, and how it goes at 20 frames per second, it would appear to be something very bizarre. Yeah, fucking 60 frame per second or nothing. Oh uh, yeah, this, oh, I fucking love visual novel artwork. I know it's not like the most impressive artwork, but look at that! Oh, it's just so fucking nice! With so many lined up like this, it could be said to be even more overwhelming. But why is that? Oh, fucking hell, people are easily impressed. Size of the universe, they don't even bother thinking about it, but fucking 16 windmills, holy shit! Look at that! There's like 16 of those bitches fucking cranking up power for a whole city. Meanwhile, the universe is ever expanding in, in an infinite fucking void. Don't even think about that. The sight of the white windows lined up on the green hills somehow seems so picturesque. Or as I like to say, picturesque. Eh, I could have fucking worked that a bit better. Oh, this, this is amazing. To think that something like this could be made. At the very least, five years ago, there was nothing here, just a wide open space. I heard they were going to build a large-scale renew renewable energy research facility and kill all the natural species, especially birds. Those bitches keep flying by and they just end up chopped up into little fine pieces of ground meat. The cell phone in my pocket vibrated, telling me I'd received a text. Okay, that sentence kind of stretched out a bit more. He could have just said, my phone vibrated. Oh wait, is this like out loud? What do I want this character's voice to be out loud? It's for that Jan! No, I'm gonna make it my voice, just not as fucking nice and soothing as my narrating voice is. It's from Anshan! Anshan! <laughs> oh my god, what is that from? Arms? Not Armstrong, what is that? That's like fucking right. To Aoi. Ow, Aoi, Aoi. It's sky or blue. No, it's blue. Is this? No, it might be the sky. I don't remember. I always either blue or sky, or maybe it's blue sky. And I, all I know is I can't fucking pronounce it worth a damn. To Aoi. Did you arrive here already? Sorry I couldn't have come to meet you. My name is written using a Chinese character read as Aoi. Oh, I did not know that. It's a difficult character and is often mistaken for Midori. <laughs> you have a girl's name. <laughs> Incidentally, whether it's Aoi or Midori, is often mistaken for a girl's name, which causes a few problems. Oh, that's true. Yeah, pussy. Oh, Sora is Sky, or Zora. I don't know, Sora, so whatever. I quickly write a reply. I hardly ever use text, so I find the key touch awkward to use. Get a fucking smartphone, you piece of shit. Got here a little too early, so I'm just going for a stroll. The windmills are amazing. Okay, Sen. Was that, was that your reply? The reply came quickly. They're great, aren't they? To a new famous spot of Kaze Gaura. God, you're gonna hear me butcher a lot of words. If you have any problems, contact me anytime. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking windmills. It's really impressive. I think I've paralyzed it, the fucking sheer magnitude of this one, one, one quadrillionth of the universe. Anchan. Thank you, Anchan. You really look out for me when I'm easily impressed by things. As I sent the text, I sat down on the grass. There was a lot of ants. They crawled up my butthole, and then I got a, a sticky old itchy butthole. This place is on the hillside, so from there I was able to gaze at the lake and the town that stretches across the opposite bank. The rapid redevelopment of the town of Kazigawa meant that the remnants of the old buildings from the Showa era are intermingled with modern architecture. That's always cool. I love seeing old uh, buildings. Not, I'm not talking like even just necessarily Japanese old buildings. Um, or, wow, what the hell was that? It's like old American buildings that are cool to look at too. Like fucking town I grew up in was all like uh, mostly old old town. The view expresses both the past and the future at the same time. Uh -huh. That's what I'm going to take that to mean. Oh, and this! You never see, like, good moving things in, like, a uh, visual novel. Oh, okay, maybe... I don't know. I haven't played too many visual novels. I've played maybe two or three. One of them was fucking raunchy as hell, and it may, it, they got an anime made of it. I talked about it in Phantom Pain once, I think. Something white mm, flitted across my field of vision and down my throat. For a moment, it looked like one of the windmill blades had come flying off. But there's no way that could happen. <laughs> That's a windmill fucking piercing his fucking chest. Alright, go on with that. Oh, cool, he managed to stop time and look at the airplane. Is it a paper airplane? Oh my god. I got up and headed down the slope to look for it, because fucking what else was I going to do? I got nothing better to do than fucking pick up trash. Paper airplane, gliding gently, eventually lost its momentum and descended. Gotcha! Who fucking just says that to an airplane? What a shithead. It's like, oh, this is my one achieving moment in my life. I ran ahead of it, did a small jump, caught it in midair. 
just to show off how cool I was. Where'd this come flying from? I said. Judging by the direction, it had come from the top of the hill. Yeah, some shithead up there littering and some nonsense. At a time and a place like this, could there be someone here besides me? You're just the most fucking selfish person, and that was a random message. Alright, if you heard a buzzing noise, that was one of my friends saying Taco Bell. Don't quite understand that, but let's go on. What have we got here? Oh, yes, a hill with many windmills. Ooh, hill, windmill. I think there's a thing going on here, and it has a lot of ill. I took the paper airplane with me as I climbed up the slope, just as I was able to see the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so nice. I love that. I wish more visual novels did this, like moving elements. I'm already liking this game. It's very, it's very pleasant. A sudden gust of strong wind blew the paper airplane out of my hand. Ah, hey, wait, you piece of shit! If we're gonna make this character as much of me as possible, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna have fun with it. I chased after the paper airplane, and ran up the slope. Uh huh. What do you find up the sub, kid? More fucking windmills to blow your fucking mind? Kid must be like high on shrooms or some shit. What do we got? Blank screen? Oh, clap. Jesus, I went really high, didn't I? All the way up in the fucking stratosphere all of a sudden. Oh my god, the windmills! They're so beautiful! Okay, go on, show it. Then, just as I finally caught it. Uh, oh, oh god, now it's a phone call. Oh, Jesus. Come on, not now. Hold on, how do I pause this? Oh, it's some bitch in a wheelchair. Nice. Oh, God. Sorry if I go a little bit fucking... I'll pause it. It's there. I'll pause it now. Be right back. What's that thing they do in Smash Bros? Like, an, an enemy is approaching or a new contender? But then... A challenger approaches. Like, what? Challenger approaches, fucking random. I don't say it. I say it. We're fucking, there goes my intro. Random fucking. You're J Jason from the podcast. He was the one that was calling me like an like an asshole in the middle of the recording. Jason, say hi. Uh. That's disgusting. <laughs> I won't have that kind of nonsense. <laughs> Anyways, this is if my heart had wings. I gave you the briefest of rundowns, which actually, now that I think about, it, I don't think I actually did tell you what this game is about. If my heart had wings. Yeah, apparently, like. like Fucking, this kid was really impressed that there was a bunch of windmills. Like and that's Buffalo how Wild went. Wings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hard just to say, my God, it's a beautiful sight. You see, like, a fucking dove representing, like, love and some nonsense. Buffalo Wings. Like, Poor-ass bird. Anyways. Buffalo's not have wings. No, they don't. Where did that actually come from? From Buffalo. New York Buffalo. Oh. What the f Why were they Why is that place even called Buffalo? Did Buffalo even go to New York? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a really good question. Anyways, I should fucking get back to this. Anyways, I'll be Aoi, and you can be whatever that Wait, fucking girl's name is. Do, What's they, up? do they even show Aoi? No, that's that's the main character. These visual novels... They never show the main character. Yeah, they, You're the they, main they, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really want to make like these sad, lonely adults Wait, feel like they're so the characters So if two people the are playing, are we the main character? Are you inside me, or vice versa? Are we the main character? Yes, we are both... Well, no, you're going to be every... Uh, you're going to okay. be them. We're like, we're like God. Okay. God's I've actually been over. commended on my voice work oh, no. <laughs> by everyone that I've done voice work for, okay. like Steven Spielberg. Uh huh. Okay, so we're gonna on see... the Adventures of Tintin. What the fuck is the Adventures of Tintin? It's an awesome movie. I was Tintin. Okay, we're well, okay. All right, well, we'll check it out. We'll see what you got, Jason. So I'm Aoi, and here's my line. <clears throat> there was someone on top of the hill. It was a girl. Stuck in a wheelchair, because her dad broke her back more to combat style. I'm just thinking, how did I get up here? <laughs> there's no fucking, like... How am I going to get down? There's no handicap. No <laughs> it's like, man, someone should really just, like, come up here and save me, but I go up and just push her down. She's like, ah! Oh my god, this is terrible. Do you ever imagine just someone in a wheelchair rolling down a hill? Like, that first we're going on norm on the wheels, and it's like, <laughs> they hit a rock, get off balance, and, like, and then they stick the nine in. <laughs> It's like, they don't break. help me, I can get up. <laughs> <laughs> they break their back and their legs are working. It's like a miracle. Windmill falls down. Looking fleetingly into the distant sky, a sudden breeze blew her hair and she combed it back with her fingers. Against the background of the blue sky and the windmills that spread across my view, the girl's black hair and white blouse looked incredible. I could see right up her puck fucking oh, paralyzed I legs. <laughs> Why are my legs so tall? That's kind of... Damn. You'd think sit, sitting on top of this hill like I have for the past month, I'd have a tan by now. It was as if I was looking at a completed work of art. Fucking trope line. There's your line. 
I'm sorry, fucking, fucking Michael Keaton. Not Michael Keaton. Who is fucking Snake again? The girl knows the snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, are you, are you okay? At first, I thought I should make an excuse for why I was there. <laughs> she like autistic or some shit. <laughs> it was like I'd stepped into her world without permission. <laughs> Started to feel guilty. <laughs> God damn it. She's not saying anything, or I don't know, she's doing something. I should call for help. Some guy had just suddenly appeared, so perhaps she's being cautious <laughs> to show her the reason why Kate had come here. I held out the paper airplane. Did you did, did you throw this? <laughs> I'm so confused. What does any of it mean? The moment she saw it, her facial expression stiffened as well as my erections. Uh, oh, hey. She looks like she's welling up. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, tears appeared in those delicate eyes. Uh, what? <laughs> I can't tell what emotion you're getting across. Oh, okay, there we go. The tears had welled up in the corner of her eyes came running straight down. Oh. So, so it got to you? What the fuck are you, some kind of fucking back alley homeless crack dealer? As I watched, great big tears came rolling down her cheeks. Huh? Uh, hey! Uh... Without thinking, I walked up the side of quickly. Why you gotta walk? You gotta rub it in? Fuck <laughs> God damn it. What do you think I fucking wanted to be in a wheelchair? What's wrong? Did you, did you hurt somewhere? What the fuck is wrong with this kid? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it hurts. I'm gonna hurt someone over and put me in this chair. <laughs> She's just like, it hurts right here. And she flexes and she got like crazy muscles. Why do you think I'm in a wheelchair all day, bitch? As she shook her head, she touched the hand that I had unconsciously held out, as if she was clinging it. Her hand was small and trembling. Like a baby. <laughs> I, so, I was scared. You're so smooth. I'm oh my god. Scared. Dude, are you, oh my god. What is with your skin? Out of you, oh. of me, who I'm becoming. What are you becoming, The monster Rose? inside of me is coming out. What the fuck is happening? I'm gonna get there to that when the pop they can. <laughs> oh shit. Squeeze. squeeze. <laughs> Fucking. Gravity <laughs> squeeze. What? <laughs> Is that like the fucking catch line of a like a girdle? Gently squeeze. <laughs> so it's like a weird version of Snake if he is mixed with like from uh, Phantom Man Mantis or whatever. It's okay now, please just calm down. Stop. No, I didn't even know what the situation was. I think I'm squeezing your hand. I thought I was squeezing you. With the cues, baby. Oh, I'm so confused. However, as I answered, I squeezed her hand no, back. No, let oh. me squeeze. Don't squeeze my hand. Oh no. Why, why am I just randomly comforting this random girl? Oh, chicken. Yeah. What? Quack, Are you quack. gonna have, like, a... Hold on. Chicken Chicken's just... on quack. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? I was just looking at that. What the hell is this? Yeah, I'm gonna go find the chicken and find out what story... Peck, 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 by the way. Or what the fuck? The fuck? Ah, damn right I'm fucking the chicken. Have you ever, ever thought about fucking the chicken? Have you ever seen the chicken butthole? It doesn't look like a dog butthole. And compared to a monkey's butthole, those are prolapsed. Have you seen a baboon's butthole? Oh, God. Isn't it kind of like the face, but more like with a hole that shits instead of eats? I go up there. No. 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 Oh. Oh, what the fuck, you goddamn chicken? Get the fuck Wait, out of here. I have a chicken. Do you have a chicken? Oh, God. Why would a wheelchair... Girl, I have a chicken. Good God. What am I oh, hurt? it's an illusion for my bastard cock. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy wheelchair lady actually has a gigantic penis. She's... She's a she-male, or whatever the proper phrasing Did of that is. Did you buy this game? Yeah, I fucking <laughs> spent money on this. What of it? Before I knew it, there's something like a chicken at my feet all of a sudden. Like I a started, chicken's like a cock. I, I guess that's why it had like a little question mark after it. Oh, ah! that's a fucking duck that's in a, a hat. That's a fucking hipster duck wearing a fedora Did for you, days. Is this like endorsed by Affleck? <laughs> uh, it was you all along. <laughs> I knew I should have known. <laughs> fucking pull out a gun. Peck, peck, peck. Ow, that hurts. What is this thing? It's a fucking dickhead. Stop, stop that hat. What, why was it re- Why do you think it's named is hat? Is that a duck-sized hat? No, I think that was actually like oh, a, a weird... a hat-sized duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duck perfectly fitting for a hat. 